friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about missing DLL file. So this is something you can encounter during desktop support or even something that is related to a program that you're trying to install. You suddenly get this pop-up, your program doesn't work. Whether it's your program or your video game or whatever it is that you're trying to install, you may get this pop-up. So let's have a look at the different uh, pop-ups that, that will uh, basically show this type of error right so let me just go ahead and go ahead in here and type in missing dll right we're going to look at some images just to kind of uh, uh, get an idea of uh, what it could look like so you get something like this this program can't start because this dll is missing from your computer try to reinstall the program to fix this uh, problem right there are many different ones is most of them are just different uh, name for the dll and but it all comes down to this dll is missing right so what you can do is just as the error says here try to reinstall the program to fix the problem you can certainly do so you can try to reinstall the program and it will fix the problem um, a lot of times but most of the time well now i don't want to say most of the time but half the time it doesn't right so now you actually have to find this missing dll so now you find it and what do you do with it you actually have to put it in a folder that contains dll files right so there are a couple of different folders that could hold dll files um, this is based off whether your program is 64-bit or 32-bit if you have a 64-bit program the dll files for it will be located in folder called system 32. in order to get to it you have to go through c windows and then system 32 right so you have to do a little bit of navigation but this is where all of your dll's will be for 64-bit applications only right now if you have a 32-bit application your dll will be located inside of this folder called syswow 64-bit uh, it's not 64-bit i'm sorry it's actually misleading it's actually called syswow 64 but it's misleading it actually actually holds 32-bit application dll's right it's kind of confusing i know but this is what happens when you have a 64-bit operating system so this is windows 7 this is windows 7 operating system and it has to have two separate folders to keep the two file systems separate so 64-bit system obviously can run some 32-bit applications and that's why it has to have a separate folder called syswa 64 but generally speaking your dll files will be inside of system 32. So you go inside a system 32 you find your dll file and then you just copy it over in here you copy it over and then a lot of times that will resolve the problem however a lot of times you actually have to go in and register that dll in order to make this program work so how do we register a dll you have to do it through a command prompt using a command called regsvr32 so let's go to our command prompt you can just search for it uh, like I do or just navigate to it so you need to find command prompt and then go ahead and right click it and then run it as administrator this is kind of important especially if you don't have local administrator privileges on this computer you have to run it as the administrator right so in our case um, when you do that it actually navigates to the system 32 folder automatically but let me just kind of open it up uh, just as a comparison if you just go ahead and open it up here it will actually na navigate to your uh, uh, local profile if you don't run it as as uh, as administrator so that's the kind of a uh, difference there you could kind of a hint that you didn't you're, you didn't run the command prompt as administrator right so anyways we want this one this is the one that has uh, administrator privileges on it so now we can go ahead and, and copy over our dll and uh Okay, so let's pretend this is your missing DLL here. MX, uh, what is this? MSXML3.DLL. So let's just, let's say this is the DLL. You copied it over into System32, um, and then you know for some reason it still doesn't work. Now we have to register it. So let's go ahead and type in uh, reg SVR. This is the command that will register your DLL. This is part of operating system, and then you simply type in the name. Of this DLL and again it's msxml3 so we type in ms let me see if I can type this as l3 uh, I think I got it typed right dot DLL let me just kind of I'm actually sitting a little bit far from my uh, 
monitor here, so I have to get a little bit closer to get here. MSX ML3, right? And now we just hit enter. And as you can see here, uh, the, it succeeded registering this DLL. Now, for some reason, if you wanted to unregister this DLL, you would still use uh, reg svr command. However, you would uh, type in a switch command forward slash u that would unregister it. Well, you can't have space. It has to be like this. And this would actually remove it from the registry, right? But we don't want that. This is kind of, that would be kind of productive here, guys. We don't want that. So yes, this is how you would uh, properly install a missing DLL, right? Chances are that you may not have to register it like I did here. Um, you know, it just depends on your situation. But this is something good to know, especially if you're into desktop support. You know, if you're in a desktop support, this is maybe something you have to do in order to further troubleshoot a program, you know? Okay, guys, I'm not gonna keep this too boring. I'm gonna keep it simple, but I really wanted to throw this out because I simply did not have a video on this. And uh, that should do it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.